I have been asked several times about the use of quick claim deeds to convey property from one person to another. Usually we see quick claims in the context of one sibling conveying their inherited interest to another sibling or between spouses in divorce situations, which may be acceptable. However, when asked, I tell you, do not use quick claim deeds to convey property. Title companies will not ensure another transaction after a quick claim deed has been used to convey the property to the owner or seller. A quick claim deed is different than a warranty deed in that a quick claim deed gives no warranty of title. The courts have actually held that a quick claim deed actually puts buyer on notice that title may not be good and so it cannot be relied on either as a warranty of title or misrepresentation of title. In other words, when a seller attempts to convey title under a quick claim, seller is not warranting or even representing that he owns the title. Buyer is put on notice of that under a quick claim deed. Understanding the effects of a quick claim deed then, it is important to remember that a title policy is an insurance policy. It insures good and indefeasible title to the buyer. As an insurance policy, it is just like all other forms of insurance policies. The insurer, i.e. the title company, is subrogated to the rights of the insured, i.e. the buyer. What that means is whenever there is a claim to title, the title company will make the buyer whole but has the right to go after the seller for a false claims or in the case of a warranty deed, a false warranty of title. This is just like your auto insurance. If you are involved in a car accident, not your fault, your insurance will cover you and the damage to your vehicle. But the company has the right to go after the person who caused the accident. Under the subrogation clause of a title policy, the title company wants the ability to protect itself. A quick claim deed gives the title company no protection. Seller has not warranted title, nor has he even represented that he or she owns the property. There is no recourse to the seller. A quick claim deed does divest seller of his interest in the property if he owns it. So title companies will allow use of a quick claim deed to divest title from one party, but will not rely on it to vest title. For example, when two people get a divorce and one quick claims his or her interest to the other, that is acceptable because title was already vested in both and one is just divesting his or her interest. A quick claim in this case is generally acceptable for insurance purposes. There are some attorneys who specifically recommend the use of a quick claim deed for the very reason that it does not warrant or represent title ownership. A recent legislative bill was passed which took effect September 1, 2021, giving some protection to buyers under a quick claim deed. It provides a four-year statute of limitations from anyone claiming an interest in the property conveyed by a quick claim deed. It means they have to come forward or forever hold their peace within four years. After four years from the date of recording that deed, no one can take the property away from a purchaser who bought the property under the quick claim deed, as long as the purchaser had no notice of any competing claims. Beware, however, that the bill took effect September 1, 2021, so it applies only to quick claim deeds signed after September 1, 2021. Quick claim deeds executed before that date provide no protections. Hopefully, hopefully this podcast helps you understand why we do not recommend the use of quick claim deeds to convey title and will help you guide your client to a title attorney if they are considering use of a quick claim deed. Thank you for listening. If you have a topic for Tip of the Week, please email me at tipoftheweek at allegiancetitle.com and I will try to address it in future podcasts. Thank you.